Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell. I am back with the 100 day project and we are on day 41 and we are making 3D layered butterflies today and um, it's just paper butterflies and it has three layers. So if you kind of bend it up and down it has a 3D look. Of course if you have it in your book it will probably lay flat but hopefully flip up a little bit. So um, so in Dina's first video she made them with book pages and just get a book page with a lot of writing in it. Book pages and music. Let me see how much music was on the actual butterfly. Let's use this piece of music. It has a little bit more music on it. And she said she made a template by looking up a butterfly shape on Pinterest and then just put some transparency on her screen and just with a permanent marker kind of drew around it so if you do that just be careful that you don't draw on your screen or use a like a pen with a hard tip I don't think that would be good for your computer screen I decided I can't draw honestly I tried to draw a butterfly freehand but it was just impossible so all I did is I made a little template that was my attempt not a good butterfly so I just took a fussy cut butterfly and just made a template with that and it just has to work or if you have a butterfly die cut which I don't have that would be a good idea too and there's lots of options so all I'm going to do she just kind of took three layers and then just added her butterfly on top and kind of cut around it. I tried that but half of the butterfly because you kind of want them to be the exact same shape it mine just moved around too much so I'm gonna just make an outline with my um, template and then get a small scissors then I'm just going to cut the three layers all at once I could possibly even do six layers let's mass make from the beginning let's see if I can do six um, six layers but you your butterfly would only be three layers so let's just cut around the shape that I drew just do that and then I'll be be less bulky so yeah I, I am very close I hope that's okay but just <clears throat> just have to work around with my glasses I'm at the age where I can't see up close but can't see far away either <laughs> it's a, a no-win situation here okay so now we'll have two sets of butterflies and then the butterfly that I did the template on I'm just going to flip it over and hopefully yes it's even oh good okay and then maybe this one will put the music on top just to have two different kinds of butterflies and then all you do is just a thin line of bead in the middle or glue not bead glue I don't want to say a bead of glue but it's a line of glue there and once it's dry I'll flip it up over there 
So again, an easy fast project that you can use your scraps for or all those book pages that we have so many of. And then you can decorate it like this one. I added some bling in the middle. Or you can add a flower in the middle. That's what she did and I really like that. And sorry for my arm. Let's add some one little piece of bling in the middle. Our butterfly had a totally different shape than mine as well, so I'm just going to use the pencil to make sure it's glued on there. Okay. Oh, I like that. Let's make another one with a flower in the middle. And that is all there is to it. And that's what she did on her first video. The second video, because remember, um, we're following along with Dina from Shabby Dabby Duda. And she, I'm doing her, she has a mass make video every Tuesday, I think. Yes, Tuesday. And um, she has a hundred of them. And currently she's busy rerunning the hundred so there's two videos so there'll be a video for week 41 and 141 anyway so on her second video 141 she also made she also used like printed butterflies and added two layers to them and then decorated them so let's try that I am again going to rather than trying to cut this like she did. I'm not that con you know good with scissors or keeping the butterfly still not even when I'm trying to copy it. But there and I'll cut two layers together again. Okay. Just follow around and what you're gonna ask what am I going to do with these butterflies of course you're gonna add them to everything you want to decorate like say for instance this would be a great tag topper because it is a little bit more sturdy this would be a great um, decorate decorated paper clip just a decoration on top of a cluster you know if you have a cluster in the back oh, there's so many things once you made them you will find a lot of uses for them so I don't have fancy bling like Tina does but I did find this at the Dollarama and it is what I like about it it is very flat it doesn't add a lot of bulk the fancier bling adds more bulk, like even the flat back pearls adds a lot of bulk, I find. They look beautiful, but they definitely add bulk. So let's do three. Let's do three. And there. And then once they're dry and you just kind of open them up, and if you're like me, they're not 100% equal anyway, and they kind of look 3D. Oh, my glue is not dry yet. There. So let's make mass make some. We've already made three. That one was my prototype. And of course, you can ink them. I think I'm not going to ink these until I put them in a journal. Maybe I want to add pink ink or red or just vintage photo who knows then the other thing I have are these butterflies that I bought from the dollar store well I think it was just when COVID it was done and I liked them so much I bought probably three or four packs and it was a lot in a pack 
and so now I have so many I'm thinking how am I going to use all of these so let's use them as well because then they are 3D and again more usable and they fit in here perfectly I don't know if they are still at the dollar stores or maybe I saw them at Walmart at one point as well that's if you like them and I know I think Christina from Christina Creates mentioned that oh and let me do the giveaway again quickly before now that I'm talking about Christina um, we I'm doing a giveaway on day 50 we are on day 41 so it's not that far away if you still want to participate and be uh, eligible for the giveaway I am drawing names from people that are leaving comments and the names that I've drawn so far are people that left comments on more than one video and today's names are Dale from Not So Shabby Chic as well as Christina from Christina Creates <laughs> and uh, remember Christina is trying to get to 500 subscribers please go to her channel she always has a lot of good videos and she has um, yeah help her to reach her goal of uh, 500 subscribers because she'll have a giveaway at 500 subscribers as well so make sure you go to her channel and I'm just going to add some bling in here just to see how these look oh I do like them so now I can actually like the golden because what I don't like particularly about these are the gold on there the shiny gold and and, and this one has silver and um, I think this just makes it look a little bit I don't know I've done something to them okay so let's mass make a couple let's do this one oh, no, let's do bigger ones again let's do more of these dollar store ones where's my, my pencil go I'm just oh this one I don't know this one's a good idea because it has a lot of little curls but maybe I'll just okay let's see okay oh, I didn't put that on the that's okay we're not gonna nothing's gonna happen because there's not written words on the back let's see if we can fit you on here do a green one with the music paper where's that music that had a lot of music on it there just cut this off so it's easier to cut up when I'm ready some lines on my fussy cut okay and then let's make a couple with our template I wonder if I just do this I can do four Oops, moved it. So yes, we had a great day. I took the dogs for a walk. We have our friends' dogs here. They are miniature wieners. 
so and they are not young anymore i think they are about i would say nine maybe less six or seven years old not sure anyway so we t i took them for a walk but <laughs> By the time we're almost home, I mean, they're short little legs. We didn't go for a long walk, but I had to carry one of them. She just kind of stopped, looked up at me, and it was like, I can't do this anymore. You have to pick me up. So, yes, we were having a lot of fun with them. They are so cute and small and cuddly. I just want to cuddle all day long. Let's just do this. Get rid of the white. Yeah, so it's... We kind of had like really nice sunshiny days and now we're back to... gloomier days which will hopefully lead to rain who knows anyway we are just trying to get everything I don't know change of seasons maybe I kind of felt when we lived in South Africa it wasn't such a big thing but maybe it was because I didn't have my own house there's just so many things to do here when the seasons change like say for instance it's fall and you have to get all the fall leaves cleaned up because the leaves turn brown and most trees lose their leaves and then you have to put all of the gardening tools and stuff away your you'll get your irrigation oh, i hope i wasn't too close to the camera get your gear irrigation blown out because otherwise the it will freeze the pipes underground will freeze uh, put your even your garden hoses away the same thing make sure there's no water in them they'll freeze and burst um, winterize like the swimming pool same thing um anyway get winter tires on if you don't have all weather tires all kinds of stuff and then oh and inside the house get all your winter coats and boots out make sure they're cleaned and change bedding so you're nice and cozy in the winter and make sure your eating system is running and has a service because if it breaks in the winter they're usually too busy to come out immediately, so best to do that beforehand. Uh, you know, just a lot of things, and then winter, fall, fall, and then winter, and you're just kind of cozy up, and then winter is done, and then you have to you have spring, and you have to bring all of that stuff out again, and um, get your irrigation connected again fill up the pool plant clean up planters uh, just there's always something to do but I do like the change of seasons for sure and here it's very definite it's you definitely have three different seasons and everything changes which is nice I really like that even though it comes with a little bit of extra work, I think. Okay, this one, I can take that one off. Where did this one go on? The shorter part must have moved. And if it's not 100%, you know, then it just shows maybe some of the wings from behind and that's okay too okay this one <clears throat> yeah This one. 
Yes, so lately, I don't know if you watched my Thrifty Thursday, I think two weeks ago. I am totally obsessed at the moment with felted wool for my slow stitching projects. I just love the texture it adds. So I have been, let me just put this in the recycling, I have been working on the pieces that I got that day and I found a couple more and it's been so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I just cut this out a little bit. Some of these dollar store ones, the cutouts weren't very well done. Anyway, so I've been playing around with that. And I think especially for winter and Christmas projects, maybe um, winter and Christmas journal covers that would be really great to use. I've been thinking, um, the other thing that I kind of started obsessing about is decorate, decorative um, paper clips, just because I just suddenly realized how versatile they are. So I've been thinking, hmm, if I use the felted wool on dec a decorative paper clip with some slow stitching on it that would be so cute so I've been working along on those and I'll share that with you I don't know if I'll wait till after the 100 day project because with the 100 day project I'm still doing the spring swap with Beth so if you haven't signed up for that there's still time until Friday April 7th. I don't like that side. Uh, so sign up at the... I'll add our emails again in the description box. It's mimiskeepsakes at gmail.com or yes I made it myself 3 at gmail.com and you can sign up with either one of us and get a swap partner, make some spring ephemera send it out and receive some ephemera from your partner and then if you share it on uh, social media and you use the hashtag spring swap 23 you will be eligible for one of two prizes one from me one from Beth and um, yeah, and if you don't have social media, you can always just email us a photo of your spring swap. You don't have to feel that you can participate or not be in line to win the prize. You can always just send us a photo, email a photo, and we will definitely add you to the list. I have an extra butterfly, so let's just add him here. Okay. There and in no time at all, we have made. Let's see, where's my that was my prototype. So, one, oh, but that is not straight at all, it's just before it glues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these. And even though you might not see all three layers, but when you move your tag or your page, you'll see that there's movement behind the um, butterflies. So let's decorate some of them. I mean, these I think will just add bling. Let's do these. I'm thinking... I was thinking maybe... Where did I put my little flowers? Let's see if we have more than one flower on here. Or are they too big? Mm, I don't think so. We can definitely get away with that. Two flowers. I think I've doubled up the flowers here. One, two flowers. And one bling here. And I'm just pushing it down with my pencil. You can definitely use your pokey tool or anything or your scissors. 
but just make sure that the bling I have any loose ple pieces it doesn't really matter that was a huge roll that I got there's lots okay Oh, that one. Oh, sorry. I just bumped the camera. I'm so sorry. I'm very close to the camera. <laughs> because I wanted to come in closer so you can see what I'm doing. When the camera camera was in, on its regular spot, you wouldn't have been able to see what I'm doing. So anyway, there is something different. Let, I was thinking, I have this lace. And maybe if we add just some lace in the middle and maybe even thinner thinner and shorter and then the bling let's see how that looks before we go <laughs> it's so small there And let's just do three so we can still see the lace as well. Oops, that's a bit much. Okay. Just something else. And of course, like on these, you can even decorate the, le the, the leaves, the wings with some lace or more bling you know there's always something that you can add and make something your own so there is our butterflies for today and i hope you'll make some of these they are very nice very something different and it just dresses up your fussy cut butterflies you can certainly do this with some flowers even and like even if you do something like this and add layers to it you know any fussy cut i think it would look nice just to bulk your fussy cuts up a little bit so thank you for watching remember to sign up for the spring swap before friday and christina and dale i will link your names in the description box and hopefully you'll receive the message and hopefully well hopefully you were watching today Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the 100 day project again. Bye.